I'm Allie Grayman, the founder of The Grayman Method. I am one of the original coaches to help people fully recover from OCD, and after years of experience and thousands of clients, my message to you is still the same. You can fully recover from OCD. On this channel, I show you how. But before we start, I just wanted to remind you that I do daily OCD recovery videos, and if you don't want to miss one, hit the subscribe button now. A question I get asked often is, is it necessary to be on medication to recover from OCD? And again, I just wanted to remind you that I am not a medical professional, so for any medication questions, you want to seek the help of a medical professional. This is for information purposes only and my own personal opinion. And I will give you a logical answer because I would like you not to just hear my answer, but to hear the rationalization behind my answer. A lot of the times when the doctor doesn't know how to help the person stop doing compulsions or stop ruminating, they'll just simply say, take medication. I see this a lot. Again, you know, this is my own personal opinion and you can form your specific opinion about your specific doctor and uh, why they are suggesting medication. But a lot of the times what I see is that the doctor simply doesn't know how else to help the person. What the medication does is it masks your level of OCD. So as long as you are taking the medication, you are kind of creating a, a situation where you feel better, but OCD is right underneath it. That's one problem. Number two problem is that medication for most people, and we've done a quite extensive uh, poll on this uh, channel. Actually, we've done it a few times where most people said that the medication uh, made their OCD I think it was like 20, 25% better, but you can go back and check the poll of what the actual numbers were. Actually, check out all the polls. They're, they're, they're very, very interesting because we have so much data. Um, but based on the polls, I would not be expecting a miracle with the medication. You need to do the work. Now, again, in my non-medical opinion, Sometimes when I work with clients, what I see is that the client is just too scared to do any recovery work. They're too scared to disregard. And maybe that 10% that the medication will help them, that 20% that the medication will help them, maybe even up to 50%, right? Depending on the case. Um, but that percentage maybe is all the person needs to start doing recovery work. And in that case, as a temporary solution to get the ball rolling, for them to start disregarding, to reduce compulsions, to reduce rumination, it might be a good idea. But again, the one thing, and I was on medication for a few years when I was dealing with OCD myself. Once I started to understand how the mechanism worked, I came off of the medication. And to be honest, uh, I didn't notice any difference in terms of my OCD recovery. So where I was in my journey when I started to uh, reduce med medication is where I continued to be as I, I kind of dropped it way too quickly. I don't recommend that. Of course, that's not safe. Um, but I was uh, uh, not very smart when it came to doing that. So the, I don't uh, I don't advise that, of course, um, because that could be dangerous. Um, but when I stopped medication, I didn't notice my OCD getting worse. And from all the clients that have little by little, with the advice of their doctor, uh, reduced and stopped their medication, I don't see a drastic difference. But again, my clients are doing the work. So if you are doing the work, and if you are pushing forward, and if you are already using the Grayman method and seeing results, in my opinion, and it's my personal opinion, again, I'm, you know, making sure I say this correctly, um, you don't really need it. And again, it's in my opinion, and, and I'm just 
I'm not saying you specifically, I'm saying a person who is already doing the work and is already seeing progress um, probably doesn't need it because they are already capable of finishing the process, right? Finishing all the way to recovery. Um, now, if a person is really struggling and they can't seem to have uh, any progress, it's just too scary. It just feels too real. They can't even disregard a little bit. They can't do they can't stop doing any compulsions, right? That's when, um, if I were that person, I for myself would consider taking medication. And in my specific case, when I was taking medication, uh, my situation, again, this was what, 17, 18, no more than that, like almost 20 years ago, uh, was that um, nobody knew what to do with me. Nobody understood what was happening to me. I was getting these thoughts that you guys don't understand the level of information that there is now online compared to what was 20 years ago. There was literally nothing. And to uh, try to piece together what is going on with a person, especially like I was fairly young when it all started, um, we needed to buy time. And while people were trying to help me, uh, and I was trying to understand what was happening to me, I needed to take medication because of just how bad things have gotten at that point. So no shame in it, but please don't view it as something, and again, in, in my opinion, uh, as that you have to stay on for life. It's a temporary tool to help you do recovery work. If you need it, and I would say out of my clients, um, um, nowadays, I would say 70% are not on medication, 30% are, but it varies month to month because I, I see so many people, right? Um, but, you know, some months it's 50-50. I don't see that the group that's taking medication recovers faster than the group that's not taking medication. Not at all. No difference. If they didn't tell me whether they were taking medication or not, I, I as an expert in OCD, would not be able to tell the difference in their uh, compulsion reduction or in their behavior or in anything else. But maybe the, the only thing that um, is people, when they're taking medication, they might be feeling a little more sleepy, depending on the side effects of the medication, right? But that's pretty much it. I don't see much of an effect on recovery other than, of course, if they are unable to push at all, right? So... That's how it is. A little bit of a longer video, this one, but uh, I get this question asked a lot and uh, it's a complicated question. And um, I, I don't, sometimes I think people think that I'm against medication. I am not against medication. Um, I am against viewing medication as the only thing that you're going to do in OCD recovery because that's not recovery. But um, as a tool to help you push through and do recovery work, it's fine. Um, again, all of this is for information purposes only. It is just my opinion from my experience and the experience of my clients. I hope you find my videos helpful. Subscribe if you haven't. I will leave links below if you want to book a session with me. I'll see you tomorrow.